What's up, guys? I'm back to my channel. My name is Jabal, and today, uh, the Book of Boba Fett, episode seven, in the name of honor, was an <laughs> an amazing episode. I'm practically speechless. I watched it with my sister. Don't call the police, because it's awesome. It's freaking awesome. So this is gonna be a spoiler-free review. So don't be worried about spoilers. Uh. So, I really love what, how many plot twists there were in this episode, and I mean, I don't know, I mean, the last scene was amazing, like, very cute, but I won't, I won't talk about that, this is a spoiler-free review. Rogu was really, really cute, I mean, he used the force, and I am just speechless he slipped a giant creature which i'm not gonna name it starts with it starts with an r and boba read on it and the mandalorian was cool as frick i mean he used the dark saber a lot in this episode but not as much as he did in episode five the return of the mandalorian my sister loves the Mandalorian because how many weapons he has. The flamethrower, the darksaber, the Beskarian spear, which he turned Grogu's into a shirt. Uh, then, so this is going to mark the beginning of my Star Wars content escapades. The previous video was the first Star Wars video on this channel. And, and I can't even tell how much I loved the entire Star Wars franchise after James and the Hacksmith crew released the Hackalorian, and that was my beginning of me loving the Star Wars franchise. And, uh, yeah, Cad Bane was in this episode. Now, I'm not gonna spoil his role, but let's just say Boba and Cad had a confrontational meeting and a standoff just like how it was planned in season 7 of Clone Wars uh there was a new type of droid in this episode i don't know if they have been you know previously shown in the star wars franchise but they were pretty freaking powerful they survived they survived boba's rocket launcher Oh, and I can't explain. I remember when Cad Bane in the last episode said Boba Fett was a ruthless killer who worked with the Empire? And we were all like, huh? You're a ruthless killer. He did barely anything in the original trilogy. Except for, you know, falling into the Sarlacc pit. But who boy, there was an Avengers Endgame-esque moment in where Boba truly showed that he is a ruthless killer. And who boy, Din also Din Jarin also got some good screen time. Is it the, is this the book of Boba Fett or the book of Boba Fett and Din Jarin? Because the last three episodes featured him. All right. The Mandalorian, aka the Din, aka Din Djarin, is my favorite Star Wars character. That's why I have him as my wallpaper currently and my channel banner currently. Next month is probably going to change to Moon Knight. Spoiler-filled review is coming tomorrow.